is uh, I oftentimes talk about the declining comic sales. Now, that um, I'm in the I'm in the opinion that sales are down, and sales are down because of chasing trends. Now, sometimes there are different media trends, and and there's examples of that. But sometimes there are trends like hashtags on social media. I I, w I will admit to being surprised when I saw when I saw the Comic Con Comic Con data saying that we've had an increase in comic book sales, and they even separated it from manga. Yeah. I was surprised. I was. The, the mainstream, I think DC and Marvel, I think the appeal of DC and Marvel has decreased. And if you look at the, where the, where the, if you look at the Comicron data, it does seem to support that. All right. Just make sure you remember whose side you're on here. No, I was, I was just going to say, I mean, I, I don't think, I mean, I don't want this. I don't think that we need to let this devolve into something the equivalent of four bald people arguing over a comb. I mean, the facts, I mean, the fact we can all agree on what the Comic Con data says. I mean, look, I I think that if we're just looking at floppies, I think that floppy sales maybe have gone down. But if we include right. digital sales, then sure. Then then yeah, we've got, you know, we've got we've got higher sales. So I don't you know, I, I mean, the data is the data here. I mean, I, I don't, no. I don't, I mean, to, to use the phrase, the, the Comic Con data doesn't care about how any of us feel about it. I mean, I mean, yeah. I can accept. And it I is adjusted that, for inflation. Sure. And I, I can no. accept the face value that floppies are going down. That's the way it feels in my heart anecdotally when I go to my local shop that is selling less and less comics all the time. But I also know that a lot of people are leaving my local comic shop. All right. Just make sure you remember whose side you're on here. So, right. So first off with Comic Cron, um, there's a it's kind of an open secret. Um, their data, whenever you see the sales data of Marvel and DC, it's all saying it's based off the idea that Batman sells a hundred thousand copies. It's a placeholder. Nobody but the publishers actually know the real numbers. And uh, even DC editorial in the last couple of years, the numbers are so bad the editors don't know the numbers. But Comic Cron's data, the the numbers of the actual numbers of the comics that are sold are not shared. Comic Cron is saying Batman sells a hundred thousand copies, and we know what order these books ranked in, and from there that's the estimated sales. Do you have any so, proof of that? Because I've talked to the person from Comic Con just in the past few weeks, and that was never even said. So what you're saying has no proof, and I can tell you right now. Metal Man number one sold 22,475K. You just have right. to go and look okay. it up. Okay, that's based off of Batman selling 100,000 copies. Batman sells a lot more generally than 100,000 copies. Well, and that's what I'm sales. saying. Then that would fluctuate the sales on Metal Man. Well, do you have any proof of what you're saying? Because I'm showing proof of what I am. I'm not going to go well, pull up DC Comics emails, really. Okay, well, let, let me just let me just state something that for those who are watching the screen, I mean, uh, look, I, I followed Comic Con Rail, Comic Con data for, for many years. Uh, up until March of 2020, they used Batman as the metric. Absolutely, 100% correct. They did use Batman Thank as a metric, you. and they use they use the hundred thousand dollar a hundred thousand marker. That is true. Uh, uh, Who's side are however, you on again, Comic Con? But. like you said the the trades um graphic novels whatever you want to call it those things still have to be manufactured through the floppies so if the floppies don't sell and the comic shops can't make money off the floppies it will kill the other things that they're adding into the list so it's very important to focus on floppies i understand what you're saying but you your whole thing was that comic sales are down and i just showed you multiple graphs showing that they weren't i get that the market is shifting and it absolutely is shifting but the fact that they are collected in different styles and still sold like i buy all digital i cannot mm -hmm. buy from a shop simply because i don't have a local one local shops a lot of times are closing down never never debated that they've gone down a lot you're talking about the the digital copies and people will buy it it, it depends on the quality of the book if they'll buy it for the of price course. and then that's well, always of course like the, the quality is down and that's what leads to more that's and more subjective. piracy you can that's not suggested piracy is off piracy is a problem piracy from manga top over six billion dollars 
already. Right. Like, Which is, they're, the they're able to lose more than the whole American comic book industry makes. But that's how much more they're making. We basically have been giving our audience away. I mean, things, I mean, like, look, we have basically an import coming in selling uh, Western superheroes, like with My Hero Academia, the whole concept. You know, is is just being kind of so like somebody, an import company is coming in and doing what we used to do better. I used to talk to publishers about it. Dan Diddy would be like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm well aware of this book. It's kicking our ass." I am not sick. Just because apples are selling doesn't mean oranges won't. That that's a silly argument. You don't need to pin the two against each other. Most yes, people, you do, a lot of people, no, you in don't. The same market. It doesn't mean the sales are down. We've showed that they are not. It, it's my skin it's proof that the sales should be up, though. Like, we shouldn't be... Something like something like Chainsaw Man shouldn't be on that list, and something like Batman's not, depending on the month. Chainsaw Man is like a new property. Like, it doesn't have multiple... It doesn't have three Christopher Nolan movies, uh, t t two or three Batman uh, bat flip movies. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have kids running around in America with T-shirts. I mean, doesn't it's not... Doesn't it have a show? No, uh, 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 it's not out yet, by the way. I didn't know so. about Chainsaw Man. I didn't know. But the point what, is, is it's a reference that we should be doing better. Okay? We shouldn't be like, oh, we did better than yesterday. Pretty soon this is over. And by the way, it's also not manga anymore. A large norm of manga are digital as well. If you want to just restrict yourself to floppies, I, I get it. Anybody, anybody, we can all agree that comic book sales should be more. You know, uh, again, the, the, the downturn in the local comic book shops, they're diversifying because they have to in their shops. My my local comic shop, he, he's got to, had to, he's had to diversify in order to be successful. He has, there, this, the sky is falling. The sky is, the sky is not falling. Everything's going to be okay. The market is shifting. That's not I, true. I, you I, just I said that he had to diversify. Well, sure he has. Sure he did. Okay. But, well, then but, the sky so, is falling. It's falling right on top of him. But Rogers Lumis summon for five dollars again asks, uh, Nadette, what's your opinion on cat food? Valdez D. Frank for 50 Mexican says, wasn't the first rule not to step on each other? So next topic, Nadette, why don't you bring up a topic that you want to talk about? I mean, I guess the uh, SJW infestation of comic companies that you originally brought up. Mm-hmm. I don't understand what your point is here. Well, what, what's your actual debate topic here besides saying there is some SJWs and then you have to define what an SJW actually is? Right. Well, I'm pretty sure they defined it when they took the name Social Justice Warrior. They they chose that name. They weren't given that name. Yeah. yeah especially so one if person they... working at DC can ruin the whole thing. Let me explain this real simple. There's the Wednesday D DC board meeting. They go to a conference room. Tristan, if you didn't know that. And in that conference room, when, this is when they were in New York. Um, let's imagine, let's, uh, let's imagine Yonzi's there. And we're all talking about what we're going to do with Superman. And we're all like, okay, we're going to do this for the next quarter, and this is going to be big, and we're going to, we're going to have, uh, you know, Lois Lane. You think she's dead, but then Clark's at her funeral, and the casket's empty, and oh my God, Lex Luthor pops out, and whatever. And then um, Yonzi's like, <clears throat> and it's like, oh, what is it, Yonzi? And she's like, but where's my representation in this? And then all of a sudden, everybody in the room is really awkward. And then all of a sudden, what if Superman's Asian? I'm not sure you're reading current comics. This is, an, not, this is called an example. Besides, this is called an yeah, example I understand, of how only, no, this is called an example of how it only takes one person to uh, infect a room. I'm not, just, that's a horrible analogy. One person is not going to change the entirety of the DC Comics slate. And if you're reading current comics, there is no SJW infestation. There are bad books. There are bad books. There is no doubt about that. There's stuff like Aquaman and Teen Titans Academy that I don't personally enjoy that much. 
but one person doesn't ruin a company. I'm sorry, that is super hyperbolic. Started, I remember 2017 was just a really PR disaster for Marvel with their all new, all new Marvel. And all right, just make sure you remember whose side you're on here. Taking established characters, okay, that have been established for 80 some odd years and all of a sudden trying to say, well, Iceman's gay when he clearly hasn't been gay this whole time is, is sloppy and you're chasing an audience, but it's a corporation just chasing a hashtag. That's it. It's, there's nothing genuine about that. If the companies were genuine, a uh, Superman wouldn't, or Jonathan Kent wouldn't be bisexual. A new character in DC Comics would be made. He is new. And he's only six years old. He never had a developed sexuality. And a lot of time when it comes to this, Comics, you, you're saying there should be no politics. Politics have always been present in comics to some evergreen degree. And people complaining about politics are usually talking about the ones that they disagree with right. on a general basis. The problem is, is Superman's a type of icon that you can rarely ever change. You can't really do anything with it. When I was given the task of reinventing Superman, okay, I didn't say, hey, he needs to be this hey he needs to you know he he needs to he needs to check it check change his sexuality now you have to understand you're going to say this is jonathan kent this is an intellectual property you have to understand this is a symbol that people see if dc comics actually wanted a bisexual character and they want to be so brave and bold and 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 actually do something productive they would make a new character altogether. he would not be called superman okay that's the thing and, and so they've done this before. No, but DC woman? Comics has done this before with the character Steel. They didn't call Steel they, because they were like, let's have a um, a black superhero character. Let's do it. They didn't say, um, they, they, they said his name is Steel. They gave him his original, they gave him a unique title and name. That was a correct way to do that. Oh, in your opinion, the, that's subjective. No, that, that that's that's the, in it's the subjective. respect to people, time and money that they put in you respect won't be to the guy. Superman guy, hang for on, very hang long. It's I'm, circular okay, okay. storytelling. No, wait, go ahead. What was that? Me? Yes. He, it's he won't be Superman that long. Clark will come back from War World, and it'll go back to normal. It's not. You're making it. You're issue right. Out of nothing. He won't be Superman that long because they will pivot back because they kept one foot out the door and one foot out the other. They could all. They they had their cake and eat it too. This is actually yep. chasing hashtags in media and trying to get on the news. You're absolutely 120 percent right on this. That this is complete and utter bullshit. That it was not thought through. They have no real plans of this coexisting. And they always have Clark Kent heterosexual love triangle with Lois Lane. So why did they do this? To make headlines. It's very disingenuous and is chasing the LGBTQ plus IA whatever community trying to get them to give to buy a Superman t-shirt. That's it. There is no story. There is a good story being told, and you're saying you're acting like them giving representation is an inherently bad thing. No, they should do representation with a new character because when you take an intellectual property like they did with Steel, at least give if this character meant something, why doesn't he have a unique name? He does. It's John Kent. It doesn't say that on the cover of the comic, does it? It says Superman because okay, that's what thank he is. You. Hey, hang on. <laughs> Now that you're saying that they are doing big, important stories with this, then why is nobody talking about the story anymore? I didn't say they were doing big, important stories. I said the book was good. All right, so if it's good, then why is nobody talking if about you, it? If, if your whole... What? what? Hang on, I have a question for Nerdette. Are you saying that they can't do a super bisexual Superman story in it, a book and it be good unless it's Superman or Batman or a known IP? What? No, I never said that. Okay. I Yeah, I, all I'm saying is the story is good. The whole point of these books are to make good stories. And if that's what it is, I have no issue with any sort of organic representation. 
Is it organic though when you have to age this kid up and basically say that was he's Bendis? Superman? I don't agree with the age. I think he should still be a kid. Yeah, and with kids, we hopefully will never have to explore their sexuality in comic books. I hope we can. Yeah, all agree I don't think that's a good thing to do. Now, I get the counterpoint that, well, you know, why didn't you? It 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 is it is a point to be made that we don't want you know a character that's been heterosexual for many many years. And then suddenly they take make the character gay. Well, yeah, that can be a little aggravating. And there's examples of that. All right, just make sure you remember whose side you're on here. Now, well, there's called that. the hard. The, the, there's the easy right, the easy wrong thing to do, and there's the hard right. The, that what I just explained is the hard right thing to do. The, that a company has to put in work, and they may not get instant results. The easy thing to do is to take, uh, to try to get on the news and get a spit take. And have people like spit out their coffee. Oh my God, Superman's gay today? Because that's what they hear, and 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 that is pandering, guys. That is not virtuous. That is that is pandering. That is, that is literally capitalism. a corporate. Okay. So wait, Nadet, you are endorsing that people try to make money off people's sexual minorities. That's what you're saying. They do it all the time, of course. Well, and that is a good thing. You actually want corporates to say, well, "Hey, yes, look at that. Look at us. We are representing this much." No, I'm not saying much. that it's a good thing. I'm saying it's capitalism. It's marketing. That is what happens. And and even so when it comes people to be the proud trans of thing, this they didn't announce that. Well, I, I should point out that you know, generally speaking, we could probably all agree that pandering's a bad thing. But uh, pandering is also has a subjective element. Not according element to Nardette, she said it's capitalism. I, I don't want to deviate. I I I want to I want to be fair to your central point, uh, Shane. Uh, I, I I do. Uh, I am. There is a part of me that was uncomfortable with John Kent coming out as gay. All right. Just make sure you remember whose side you're on here. Well, I I I, I think it's worth noting. That I, I'll make the comment that if um, you might ha you might get the last laugh here, because look, the the market determines everything, right? If yep. if. I mean, look, if, if people hate Superman, son of kal -El, and the sales are, you know, and by the way, the, the sales, other than issue five, they weren't like super stellar. They weren't bad. They were some of the better DC. So there's, there's by all indications, if it follows past patterns, the sales of Superman, son of kal -El are probably going to go down. Um, my prediction, it's going to go down to the 25 to 25 to 30,000 mark, to be blunt. All right. Just make sure you remember whose side you're on here. I don't know what you were saying, but yeah, I, I don't agree that this was a good idea either. I don't think that it is in any form or fashion, even when you're looking back at old issues where you've got Joker and Furry, or Sue Dibney, or Bleeze. I don't like it in any form, and I think it's triggering, and it, 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 a lot of times it's used to kind of forward the um, storyline when it comes to the men in this situation, like with Sue Dibney. But in this story specifically, I think the issue, for better or worse, is the writer. Is the writer in general. I think as far as we were talking about SJW infestation, this is one of those types that I would say probably needs to stay away from DC as best as possible. This is John Ridley. Him at DC is, an, is one of those SJW infestations that I do not care for personally. So you admit there's an SJW infestation? I admit there's a few. Okay, it's and you not admit an that one person, one person, it only took one guy to rape Superman. No, that is not, yeah, well, yeah, but that doesn't mean the whole, and it's not even in canon, it's an Elseworld story. It doesn't it's in matter, a, it's an intellectual property. It does matter. Just, no, it doesn't it's, matter. It matters to people, and, and mm. the only problem is, is when that's not in continuity, it is simply something that can be thrown away. No, or you could you could it's even argue by the company once it's printed by the company and they put their bullet head on it, it's canon. It doesn't matter. Paul Levitz, my time at DC Comics when Paul Levitz was, uh, you know, um, publisher, there were things that we could not do. Right, and that's down. how it should be again. Okay, and you think mm, raping Superman or raping an iconic character? Right, that but you raped Bleez. I'm sorry, did you say that again? You had you made the character of Bleez and that character was raped. You said I raped Bleez? <laughs> well, I, I didn't mean like that. I mean your character. 
my character. So you're telling you're telling a creator no, no, of you a just character. Say, that's hang not on, funny, hang on. Yeah, bop, 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 bop. I'm talking. That goes for you too, Yanzi. Yes, yes. So you're saying a character. You're telling a creator of a character what he did and didn't do with the character. No, I'm saying that in the storyline, rape was happened upon your character. Are you saying I did that? No. Okay. What Thing was your happened point? To then? Your character. I'm saying it happens. Do I think it should happen? No, of course not. But you said I raped police. Your character. Hmm. And I admit that, you know, it's it's a dangerous from a capitalistic standpoint. I agree with you, Shane, that, okay, you're treading on dangerous ground here because you're going to make the shareholders happy <laughs> who, uh, who, who want increased sales on Superman. And all of a sudden you've made his son bisexual. Is that problematic? Maybe it is. <laughs> All right. Just make sure you remember whose side you're on here. A good example done right, I would say, is Miles Morales' Spider-Man. Yes. A bad example... What is a bad example? If you can't think of one, that's kind of... Proving... I would say Chinese Superman. There's so many like examples. That? Yes, like... Well, why don't you I mean, ask the Chinese? Why don't you ask anyway. the Chinese here? How do I feel about a Chinese Superman? Well, let's ask you. How do you feel about Chinese Superman, Yanzi? Are, are, are you talking about the new Superman character for DC Comics? Uh, what, what's his uh, the monkey prince? Name? Not no, the no, monkey no, prince. Not the monkey prince. We actually have a, a new. They're not Superman. all the same just because they look alike, nerd. Ed. They're not all the same. Talk about something. It seems else. like a lot of your issue here is with capitalism, though. Not necessarily anything other than that. So, for people who don't know, there was a Asian, a pre, well, what would you call it, Yanzi? The AAPI thing, also the whole stop Asian hate thing. I'm trying to find the nice synopsis that they had for it, actually. I mean, we're just going to quote DC on this because it's as offensive as you would think. Yep, all but right. basically, DC Comics took every character that was Asian and said they should stand together in, um, on a cover and we should sell it. May yeah. I remind you guys, um, I think a lot of you guys forget about World War II happened in Asia, by the way. Japan conquered a lot of East Asia, including my country. So to assume that all Asians get along fine and would be happy to stand on the same cover together, um, pretty racist. Well, not to mention also, you know, the synopsis here. Let's let's look at the, before we even get into this thing, let's get into the synopsis. First, they say, Gong Si Fa Tai which they think translates to Happy Lunar New Year, but believe it or not, they have Chinese people on their staff and they can't even get this thing checked. Gong Si Fa Tai means Happy Prosperity, not Happy New Year. All right? Happy make a lot of money, not Happy New Year. All right. This May, grab your favorite boba, pull up a chair, pull a chair up to the dim sum table and celebrate Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. Oh, like, let me reread that. Hang, hang on. Let me reread that. And I disavow what I'm about to say. Grab up. Go grab a bucket of chicken for Black History Month. That is pretty much what they're saying over here, you know? Grab your boba tea and have your dim sum. Because that's what all Asians are known for, right? So you want to tell me that they're trying to, you know... They can't even pander correctly! They're trying to get the money and at this point they're just being racist. Like, seriously? Every, every Asian drinks boba tea and eats dim sum, I guess. What I'm talking about is DC Comics trying to monetize on Asian hate in the United States after yeah. after the coup. Okay, that is What's exactly that? what it is. You can't What's do the research. Where are you getting that from? Monetizing yeah, Asian hate. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Hate? Where are you right. getting they did right. a bunch okay. of okay. anthologies. Well, 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 more ridiculous. Every Asian character standing together on a cover, despite that their countries they did maybe the same had thing rape for camps, pride. Maybe oh. had, had rape camps and that don't like one another. They're just gonna happen to all stand together on a cover because they happen to eat rice and noodles and process carbs different than Westerners. Your issue here seems to lie more with capitalism. The contents of the books were good. I, I enjoyed it. I thought this was one of the better anthologies, to be honest with you. Well, I'll just say this for, for me, for me, who's, and I uh, respectfully, Yanzi, I'm, I'm ignorant with respect uh, to your culture. So when I read that, when I read that about grab your favorite boba, pull up your dim sum table, honestly, I don't really know what those things are. I wouldn't know, I couldn't tell the difference between that or any other meal. 
I, I don't know that. I just took that as them promoting uh, promoting the Asian uh, culture. I, I didn't. I didn't. I don't even know enough about that subject to be insulted by it or to be insulted on your behalf by it. So, and and to think that anyone who reads reads that, anybody who reads that advertisement and sees that as anything other than a tribute or a, an obvious one shot that is meant to uh, up to basically celebrate and at DC Comics. I mean, I, I got to tell you, I, that's that's how I interpreted it as. Now, if you saw it differently, then then I will absolutely admit, okay, educate me in terms of I understand you're insulted. This is news to me. I had no idea that was an insulting paragraph. I had no what? idea that was an insulting paragraph. I guess if it is, okay, fine. I, you know, then uh, I suppose this is something that DC. I mean, there's a, the irony here, and I can't help but note the irony that I guess DC should uh, maybe have a couple of, you know, if there if there are more diversity hires, I guess they need to have more. Uh, more no, there's diversity the hires. With... There's diversity hires, uh, including Jim Lee, Jean Moon Yang, Bernard Chang. Um, Jim I... Lee is a diversity hire. Yeah, he's Asian. So just because he's Asian, he's not he's related a to Stan Lee. Uh, Nerd, he's not re he's not related no to Stan kidding. Lee. Don't don't don't. Duh. Yeah. I, I can't believe you would call somebody like that a well, diversity hire. Look, That's look. a far reach. I would actually argue that the fact that me and Comic <sighs> Boom didn't know that that was insulting is why something like this needs to exist. <laughs> you, you, you didn't know. That's like saying the rape camp needs to exist. Don't ask an Asian. Asian to come up to tell you we're what? insulted. You're basically waiting for us to come to you and tell you we're insulted. So you claim to make things for representation, but you don't research that representation. How does that even work? How genuine is that exactly? I I'm very confused. No, you, you make a good point, uh, Yanzi. If, if that was something that is insulting and it's unknown to me that it's insulting to you, that's a legitimate point. Uh, that's It's an easy concession on my part. I didn't know that was an, in, that, that was an assumption or presumption. I didn't know that. I honestly didn't know that. Now care about some Asian characters. It, I mean, it, that that's why that's in the first what? paragraph before they've ever. It's in the first paragraph. I mean, they don't tell you the here. The, I the never character. read I, this before today. That shouldn't matter. Yeah, I bought I, it because I, I thought it could be a good book and it had the, good writers on it, and it ended up being a this good is book. A, this is this is a real serious reach. I mean, it's, no, uh, it's, I, it's I the first it's paragraph. Yeah, Nobody's I, I reaching. Really, yeah. I'm not reaching Nobody. past the first. You know what? Hang on. Here's no, the. Re no this is how far people. we're reaching. The first Happy Lunar New Year, which is wrong. So I and let me reach just an inch further. Dim sum and bubble tea. There's no right or wrong, guys. This was a friendly chatter back and forth um does anybody want to end on anything because we've been going on for i don't know hours what have we been doing three hours um i just want to thank comic boom for coming on with me yeah i'll just say that uh uh, uh believe it or not uh shane i i uh, i am a fan of yours <laughs> i just wanted to let you know that uh mm. this is a friendly debate uh i, I oh, yeah 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 nothing this personal is, this is a this is a tr very truly uh you're an amazing artist all right, just make sure you remember whose side you're on here. <laughs>